Good morning, everybody. It is really early. It's 3.40, and the Lord woke me up, as he sometimes does in the morning. So I thought it'd be nice if we read the Bible together. I am on Genesis 4. I never really know where to read the Bible unless I ask the Lord specifically. He does give me a um, chapter sometimes, but other times I just don't know. So I just kind of just guess where I should read. <laughs> I used to read front to back when I was like in my teens and 20s. And I just, um, I don't know. Now I just kind of experiment and stuff. If anyone, what do you guys do? If anyone wants to, I would love to hear what you guys do. If you have a, a method or a rhythm that you do with reading the Bible. But anyways, I'm going to read this. Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. And again she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, and Cain a worker of the ground. In the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground. And Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Cable. Cable? <laughs> just said Cable. I mixed Cain and Abel together. <laughs> okay. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering. But for Cain and his offering, he had no regard. So Cain was very angry and his face fell. The Lord said to Cain, why are you angry and why is your face fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is contrary to you, but you must rule over it. Cain spoke to Abel, his brother, and when they were in the field, Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel, your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And the Lord said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground, and now you are cursed from the ground which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it shall no longer yield to you its strength. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me today away from the ground, and from your face I shall be hidden. I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. Then the Lord said to him, Not so. If anyone kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest any who found him should attack him. Then Cain went away from the presence of the Lord and settled in the land of Nod east of Eden. Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. When he built a city, he called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. To Enoch was... Okay, I'm not going to go through... Oh, okay, I thought it was going to be one of those long genealogies. And I was like, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> oh. To Enoch was born Irad. Okay. Um, Methu Methushael fathered Lamech, and Lamech took two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other is Zillah. I like to look up the names. Um, the name, the root word in the strongs of the names, because I think it tells me more about the story. Like Lamech, Ada, Zilla. I'm not going to do it right now, but I think that's really interesting to do. So Ada bore Jabel. He was the father of those who dwell in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all those who play the lyre and pipe. Zilla also bore Tubal Cain. He was the forger of all instruments of bronze and iron. The sister of Tubal Cain was Nama. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice. You wives of Lamech, listen to what I say. I have killed a man for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain's revenge is sevenfold, then Lamech's is seventy-sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and called his name Seth. For she said, God has appointed for me another offspring instead of Abel, for Cain killed him. So Seth was a comfort to Eve. 
to Seth also a son was born, and his name was Enosh. At that time, people began to call upon the name of the Lord. That's neat. So, I like to think about what stood out to me in this chapter. Whoop. And if you guys are interested, you could comment below about what stood out to you in this chapter if you want to. Maybe we could talk about it. So, I think what stood out to me was this part. The Lord said to Cain, No, not so. If anyone kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. Sometimes what stands out to me just leads to a lot more questions. And if any of you are really gifted at teaching the Bible, I would love to pick your brain because I don't, I don't really know anyone like that in my life right now. Um, some people who just have that five-fold ministry gifting of teacher. Anyways, what is why I want, I'm wondering why the Lord was so passionate about protecting Cain after he had killed Abel. Why was the Lord wanting to protect Cain by bringing vengeance on anyone who would kill him sevenfold? Why did God have mercy on Cain, I wonder? And then I really, I think that's sweet that God gave Eve um, her son Seth. And so Seth must mean God has appointed. Because she said, God has appointed for me another offspring instead of Abel. She must have been horribly grieved that Abel was killed, especially to have your own son kill your other son. And so that was awesome how God comforted her through Seth. And then I like this part. At that time, people began to call upon the name of the Lord. So they weren't calling upon the name of the Lord before then. That's interesting. All right, I'm going to end this video. I hope everyone has a blessed day.